Don, Brian, you know, attorney just sent me an email this morning and said that the buyer was in and that they made a lease agreement so he could start cleaning it up. Or it's done. Hey, it's already uh, done. I just want to let everybody know that we're uh, the meeting webinar is going because Brian's here. Um, and our microphones are open as well, just so you're all <laughs> under the understanding. Oh, better be quiet now, Brian's on. <laughs> so, uh -oh. that's good news. Because I had a little difficult conversation with that lawyer the first time, and I said, hey, I'm here to help. Yeah. You have to understand I'm also a county commissioner, so I really don't want to put a heavy hand on this, but I really want to clean up. Yeah. Yeah. Start well, so you tell me how I can help. I have nuisance have control in so that way. You tell me how I can Thanks, Travis. And I'll call the meeting to order a uh, hybrid meeting, uh, some of it at uh, El Rapid, 1010 Main Street, Springfield, and the rest of it on the Zoom. Um, and it's 1215. Um, first on the agenda is an uh, exciting thing, introductions to new board members. And since they're new, we, we ought to might as well induce all the directors, introduce themselves, and um, as well as the key staff there in the room. So starting on the Zoom, Howard, do you want to introduce yourself? You ask me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Howard Saxon. I'm uh, uh, I'm starting my second term as a uh, representative on a wrapper from the city of Eugene. Uh, prior to that, I served two terms on the city sustainability commission. Um, I'm retired right as of now for a few years, but uh, professionally, I'm an environmental scientist. I work for a large environmental engineering firm. Most of my work was in air quality, air toxics, uh, especially for DOD. And uh, Dylan, we haven't met yet, but I know you're uh, employed by the Sierra Club. I'm proud to say that I joined the Sierra Club in 1970, and I've been a member since, so a uh, long-term member. So anyway, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Howard. Uh, I'm Brian Cutchin, uh, the uh, chair right now of El Rapa Board, as well as the mayor of Oak Ridge. And uh, my daytime job is a management consultant working up in Umatilla right now, uh, and a retired uh, Navy guy. So. Um, I'm relatively new to El Rapa, uh, but as you know, Oak Ridge is uh, kind of a focal point for some a lot of El Rapa's efforts. So uh, we're real familiar with uh, the good work they, they've done for us up there. So um, we can just uh, go around the table, one side or the other, pick it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll start. My name is Mike Johnston. I'm a new member with Eugene. I'm a partner in a small business. We help folks raise money for commercial real estate projects in opportunity zones. Um, and uh, I'm married and I have a seven month old. So you see me yawning mm -hmm. because of that. <laughs> I remember those. Yeah, I remember those. Uh, and I'm excited to join this board and work with all of you. Awesome. Uh, David Lovell, Lane County Commissioner representing Springfield on the board, first time. And looking forward to working with y'all, especially the new members. Good energy. Good to see youthful people in politics and politicking. It's good. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Steve Dietrich, the director of El Rapa. Been here a couple of years now and counting. And uh, good to see all the faces in person. It's been a while. Hello, everybody. I'm Susan Spraja. I'm the finance and human resource director. I've been with La Rapa for a month, almost five now. <laughs> I'm um, Lance Giles. I'm the technical services manager here on the I've been here about 30 years before. And I would, um, all of you don't know, but Debbie has retired and she retired after the last board meeting. And so we haven't had a chance to tell you. But in the process, I would like to introduce um, Heather. And Heather, you can introduce yourself, but she will be our new administrative assistant. Nice to meet you all. I'm um, excited to be here and look forward to working with all of you. So Deb, uh, uh, Heather will be a good resource for all of you. I've been uh, stepping in kind of Debbie's role a little bit. She's been on leave for the past couple of months, but Heather will be taking up some of that role and she'll be a good point of contact for you all um, on board needs and the like. Um, and my name is Travis Knudsen. I'm the public affairs manager here at Rapa, and I've been here a little over three years. And I'm Mike Fleck. I'm a kind of gross city councilor. Uh, my day job is I run a nonprofit that does, well, we're a food pantry. We do energy and housing and basic needs assistance. Um, I think I've been on the Al Rapa board 13 or 14 years. I've kind of lost track. Sounds so, right. Long time. Hello, I'm Joe Pishonary. I'm a Springfield City Councilor. Been a city councilor in Springfield here since 2004. Um, that's background of law enforcement, 30 some years. And 
been on this board. I'm not sure exactly after he started, but before everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome, everybody. Yeah, my name is Dylan Plummer. I, uh, for my day job, I work for the Sierra Club doing environmental and climate policy um, in Oregon and Washington. And I'm also on the National Executive Committee of the Progressive Workers Union, so doing some organized labor work as well. And yeah, I'm really excited to be here and advocate for clean air for everything. Thanks. And Matt, we'll circle back to you uh, to introduce. Great. Thanks so much, Chair. Um, and, and welcome new members and, and, and welcome, Heather. I'm Matt Keating, Eugene City Councilor. I represent South Eugene. And my day job, I'm policy advisor for State Senator James Manning. Thank you and uh, welcome aboard to the uh, to the new guys. It's great to have uh, uh, fresh uh, blood and ideas in the uh, program. So look forward to meeting in person. I'm, uh, we'll uh, move on to number three, adjustments to the agenda. Um, any directors have an adjustments they want to make to the agenda? Uh, executive director, any adjustments to the agenda? Not at this time, no. Thank you. And I have none. So uh, now we're on to public participation. Uh, the time limit is three minutes per speaker. Uh, first, we'll start with comments on an item on today's agenda. Travis, do we have any public that you can see on the Zoom? Um, we have a number of people who are participating with us today. A lot of them look to be um, El Rapa staff or on the CAC or a minutes recorder. But if there's anybody who is present who would like to have comments on an item on today's agenda, Please raise your hand on Zoom and we will allow you to speak. Uh, Brian, I don't see anybody raising their hands. Okay, and then we'll move on to <coughs> comments on a topic not included on today's agenda. Same thing Brian. if anybody would like to raise their hands. Uh, Matt Keating. Thank you, Travis. And Chair, may I? Yes, please. Great. Um, you know, th there's, there's um, it, often, we will get one, two, or two, maybe at the most public uh, participation or public comments. Um, and but more often than not, there are no comments. And I think it would be uh, beneficial for the board at our next meeting or at staff's earliest convenience, um, with permission, chair, uh, to request uh, what the outreach strategy is, how we how we publicly notice and beyond to engage the public uh, on a regular basis, on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis. How are we informing the public to uh, attend our meetings either virtually or in person and participate in the public process is something I'm interested in. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that comment. And I'm sure that the staff could put together a quick brief on how that, how that all works with the agendas and, and uh, outreach. Thank you. Any other comments for items not on today's agenda? Seeing none, we'll move on to uh, comments from board members. I'll ask the directors, anyone have any comments from board members they'd like to bring up for the group? Either on the Zoom or in the room. And uh, Jill. Yes, Brian, I just going to get an update is that we will be, um, we have current applications we're still accepting for El Rapa position for our citizen representative on the board. And that um, there's been a good interest and we should be wrapping it up in the next, well, council's on break. So when we get back in, in uh, September, we'll be dealing with that and appointing somebody then. Joe, are there any geographic limitations on that member or is it just anywhere in the in the AOR? City of the City of the Mess. Okay. Got it. Any other director comments? Uh, I've got one. I'd like to apologize to the new guys for not being there in person. Uh, I just had a hiking mishap and it's not gone well. So here I am sitting in, uh, in my room. Uh, but that said, uh, like I said, I, I will get out to, to meet you guys next uh, next meeting. Um, no problem. <laughs> consent calendar, um, looking for approval of minutes from June 8th. Bob, Move to approve a consent calendar. Second. Okay. Made by Joe. Seconded. Who made the second? I'm sorry. Okay. Matt. Matt. Yep. Okay. All right. All in favor, say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. All right. Uh, item seven, which is the director's performance review, which is going to take us into uh, executive session. Uh, we're going to go into executive session under ORS 192.6602I to review and evaluate the employee related performance of the CEO of any public body, a public officer, employee, or staff member who does not request a public hearing. And I assume, Steve, you're not requesting a public hearing. Chair Brian, members of the board, I do not. Thank you for that. Um, Travis, do you want to go into the mechanics of the executive session? Yes. Yeah, so for um, those of you online, so Brian and Howard and Matt, on the agenda, um, there is a URL to the Microsoft Teams link, which you can click on that will take you to the Teams meeting. I'll put that link also in the chat there um, for everybody online. And then those of us who are here in the room, I think so Lance and then Heather, I believe yourself as well, will be asked to step out for the executive session and then we'll come grab you when we're done with that. Let me get the meeting information here so I can put it into the chat on Zoom. And everybody who is um, with us on line in the Zoom room will uh, not see much of anything until we get back. Um, so we'll hold on one second. We'll join over to the team's meeting. Thanks, Travis. Moving into executive session at 1226. Travis. <laughs> I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're still about, but I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm just a little ahead of myself. And Travis, I mean, th Travis, thanks for doing that because I was following along in the paper copy. So thank you. Yeah, no worries. So that link, uh, Howard and uh, Matt, will take you to the Teams meeting, and I'll turn off our camera muter mic here on Zoom. And do we do we exit this meeting? Is that? Uh, you'll probably exit that meeting, and then we'll have to jump back in um, afterwards. But if you can, you don't have to necessarily leave. You just won't be able to turn your camera on in the Teams meeting, per se, um, if you stay in the Zoom meeting. I'll, I'll leave the Zoom. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. 